and flick. Oh, you can't stop the deals, damn you. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another under $5 eShop deals video, where each and every week we go through the Nintendo Switch eShop and we pick out some of the best games currently on sale, all the while staying under a budget of only $5. Now yet again this week we have a ton of brand new games to the series and even one of those new games will be my pick of the week. Not only that, but the sizzle reel is also jam packed with great games, although we've maybe seen them before. Now just before we jump into that, a quick reminder in case you're new to the channel that halfway through the video I'll be giving away two $5 eShop gift cards. If you want to participate in the giveaway, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel and drop a comment down below. Also, if by the end of the video you're still looking for other great deals, I'll always be linking down below last week's under $5 video as well as the latest regular eShop deals because most of those deals are still running today and I just don't repeat them two videos in a row. Now with all of that stuff out of the way, let's not waste any more time, we'll jump straight into the deals. Just remember if you are liking the content, one of the best ways to support the channel is just to hit that like button. So now our first game for today is a brand new one to the series, but it's also a special suggestion. So make sure you listen to the description before picking this one up. It's One Gun Guy that is now 60% off, dropping the price to $1.99 and will be running till June 21st. Also, as a side note, if you have a Canadian account, this one is actually only 99 cents in Canada because we don't have the $2 limit. Now this game is an action platformer and its basic mechanics will remind you right away of something from the Mega Man series. However, with its own special twist. For example, every time you collect 100 coins, you'll receive an upgrade to your armor, giving you a special ability. Every time you hit take a hit, you'll lose one of those special abilities. If you run out of armor, unfortunately you die. The other special part is that the whole game is only one very long level, separated into different checkpoints. And this is where my warning will come in. Unfortunately, One Gun Guy can be completely run through if you're used to action platformers in about 30 to 40 minutes. And ultimately, there's only one level and one boss to the game. There is, however, a little bit of replayability here with a hard mode where you basically have to do the whole game hitless. And although I wouldn't say this game is overly challenging, if you do attempt that hard mode, it will at least give you probably a couple of hours of playtime. And that's why I said I wanted to give a warning about this game. Although I had tons of fun playing through it, it just wasn't long enough. However, I would love to see this developer come back with a more extended game because he really has something great here in the basic mechanics. And at least at only $2 or $1 if you have a Canadian account, it's a fun and quick straightforward 30 to 40 minute game. Now our next game is another new one, with Zero Strain being 75% off, dropping it to $2.49 and will be running till June 17th. Now this game is a special one. It's a somewhat blend of a bullet hell game with a twin stick shooter, but at the same time it's not really a twin stick shooter. The reason I say that is that although the movement and the gameplay will look like something that you would see from a twin stick shooter, you don't actually control the direction your ship fires in and that is rather done automatically through the game. So that second joystick really isn't used. Now if I'm honest, the first time I loaded into the game that was a little bit off-putting. But as I started putting time into it and getting used to the mechanics, I actually found a lot to love in Zero Strain. Number one, the visuals to me were very enticing, with an almost Tron-like feeling to them. Secondly, the soundtrack, although I've already heard better ones, was very pulse-pounding and fit the gameplay perfectly. And although part of me would have maybe preferred to have that twin-stick shooter design to the controls, overall, once I got used to it, it did fit into place. And it actually brought a whole new importance to positioning in this game, where that will overall control where your ship fires. So if you're into bullet hells or twin stick shooters, but you want something a little bit different, Zero Strain could be an awesome pickup for this week. Now our next game is yet again a brand new entry to the series, and that is Gigantic Army, that is now 70% off, dropping its price to $2.69, and will be running till June 20th. Now the basic gameplay here is very much that of a retro styled run and gun shooter. However, the special twist here is that you're piloting a huge battle mech. And in my opinion, this game has done an awesome job of translating that feel into this type of gameplay. Now your battle mech might not move all that fast, but it's equipped with a dash mechanic and also a flying boost. You're also pretty much always equipped with a variety of different weapons and you actually get to choose your loadout and personalize it to your gameplay style. 
Also, the boss designs in this game were a definite highlight, with smaller mid-bosses and screen-filling end bosses. And I've got to tell you, after about 15 to 20 minutes of gameplay, I fell in love with this game, and it actually came very close to being my pick of the week. So if you're into run-and-gun shooters and you want one with an original twist, well then Gigantic Army is going to be an excellent pickup for this week. Now yet again, our next entry is a brand new one to the series, and that is Guns of Mercy that is now 70% off, dropping the price to $2.69, and will be running once again till June 20th. Now I would describe this game as an arena-based arcade-style shooter, and this one is going to be another special recommendation for this week. The reason why is that this is a game that I would definitely say you should pick up if you have someone to play with. Because alone, this game did become a little bit repetitive, but in co-op mode, it was amazingly fun. And I would even say that this is a great one to play with like your kids or someone that's maybe not as much of a gamer. Because I think one of this game's best strengths is number one, it has an awesome retro flair, and number two, it's extremely approachable even to someone who's not used to these type of shooters. The only thing is that the challenge level is fairly low, which is why I said that if you're playing this game alone, you might find it becoming quite repetitive quickly. However, in co-op mode, just to see how far each player can get and who's getting the better scores, it becomes tons of fun. The one thing I do want to warn about the game is that it actually fires automatically for you. You don't have to press down a fire button, your character as soon as the level starts just never stops firing. And although that's pretty much what always happens in these games, I do generally prefer the satisfaction of pressing the button myself. Not necessarily a game I would suggest at its full price of $8.99, but at $2.69 for some great co-op fun, this one can be a great pickup. Now our next game for today is yet again a brand new one to the series, and that is Jotun the Valhalla Edition that is now 80% off, dropping it to $2.99 and will be running till June 20th. On top of it, this will be my pick of the week. Now this game is a top-down action-adventure game. And yes, I would do a very slight comparison to something like a Zelda-like adventure. But at the same time, this game very much does its own thing. You have no dungeons to explore, although the world is divided into different zones. Now each one of these zones are going to have its own enemies, its own ability to unlock, and definitely the highlight of the whole thing, its own boss. And when I say that the highlight of this game is the bosses, it definitely should not be underplayed. These are some massive, hand-drawn animated bosses, and they are all almost fantastic. Now, the combat in the game is probably the one point that will take most getting used to, with a touch of almost Souls-like to it, but not quite. I also would have liked the different environments to be slightly more full, but at the same time, it's hard to fault this game, especially since its origin price at $15 was already a steal for the overall experience. But trust me, at now a low price of only $3, if you're into action-adventure games, you're willing to put a little bit of time and effort into the combat system, Jotun, the Valhalla edition, is going to be an amazing pickup for this week. So now it's time to take a quick break and announce today's winners of the $5 eShop gift cards. And our first winner for today will be Daniel Reese, who said, Xeno Crisis is great fun. Played it on the Mega Drive. Also, Remote Life and Smelter look very interesting. So I'm really glad, Daniel, that you had a ton of fun playing Xeno Crisis, even if it was on the Mega Drive. And if you picked up any of those other two games, I hope you're loving them as well. And now our second winner for today is going to be Dexter Peltier, who said, Ooh, Cotton, never heard of this game. I love the genre. Thanks. And you know what, Dexter? I'm super glad I introduced you to the Cotton series. If you're a shmup or cute em up fan, they are definite great games. So now all you need to do to claim your $5 eShop gift cards is reach out to me in my pinned comment down below. So now if we jump straight back into our deals, we've got a great returning one, however, at a brand new lowest ever price, and that is Kiro Blaster that is now 70% off, dropping its price to only $2.99 and will be running till June 20th. Now once again, we've got an awesome retro styled action platformer with an overall run and gun shooter type of gameplay. And before ignoring this game, let me tell you that Kiro Blaster is the perfect definition of don't judge a book by its cover, because although its graphics look simplistic, its gameplay is phenomenal. What's also great here is that there's different difficulty modes, and on its normal difficulty mode, it isn't what I would call a die-hard run-and-gun shooter, rather being more approachable for any level of skill 
even for someone who's new to the genre. And although it remains a run and gun shooter, I would say that this game is set up with an overall slower pace than most, giving you really time to take advantage of the different strategic weapons. Also, as a final note, I would say that although the designs looked simplistic at first, they actually really grew on me with time and I really fell in love with our little frog companion. This is even a game I would recommend at its full price, so right now at a brand new low of $2.99, it's an easy pickup. Now we aren't done with the run and gun shooters yet because I have another brand new one for you and that is Ultra Core that is now 80% off dropping its price to $3.99 and will be running till June 16th. First of all, I really want to thank you all the viewers because a few of you actually suggested this game to me and you're right, it was right up my alley and I'm so glad you did. Now this game is an actual retro run and gun shooter brought back to life because it was originally planned to be released on the Genesis under the name Hardcore. Unfortunately, that never came to be, but the source code was recovered, the game was finished, and it was released under the brand new name here, Ultracore. Let me tell you, if you're a fan of those classic Genesis era run and gun shooters, then you'll be very satisfied with this game right here. The only things I would want to mention is this one, contrary to the previous Kiro Blaster, does have a fair level of challenge to it and I wouldn't say is a great game for a newcomer to the genre. It does also have a little bit of retro clunkiness to its level designs from time to time and its overall gameplay, but nonetheless, it's still a great time for fans of retro gaming. Now, this isn't necessarily one that I would recommend at its full price of $20, but right now, 80% off $3.99, it's a great deal. Now our next game for today is a great returning one and that is the Shmup Collection that is back to 70% off, $4.49 and will be running till June 20th. Now by the title itself, I don't think I need to say it, but yes, this is a collection of three different shmups. And don't let yourself be thrown off by the generic name. The three shmups in this collection are actually really excellent ones, each one in their own right. First, you get Armed 7DX, which is a mecha-based shmup, and honestly, it's one of my favorite overall styles. The second game is Stasius Next, which is more your classic space-based side-scrolling shooter. But just as pretty much every game in this collection, the gameplay once again is very tight and very much fun. And lastly, you get Wolf Flame, that is more a top-down shooter with an overall militaristic feel to it, but once again, some very tight and satisfying gameplay. Overall, if you're a fan of shoot'em ups, for only $4.49, these three games are a steal. Now, our next game is another great returning one, and that is Forgone, that is back to 75% off, only $4.99, and this one will be ending on June 14th. Now, Forgone is an extremely combat-focused 2D action platformer. And what probably will jump out at you first about the visuals is how much it looks like Dead Cells. But do not be mistaken, this game is not a roguelite, it's a traditional 2D action platformer. Now before going any further, this one will come with a slight warning, it is a fairly challenging game. However, if you are prepared for the challenge, then not only on the visual aspect, but also the gameplay and boss fights here are really stunning. One thing I would like to mention as well is that there were a few times where I did get some frame drops during my playthroughs. However, they were never really big enough to affect my overall enjoyment of the gameplay and I never felt like I had died to one of them. Lastly, the really good news about this one is that if you need any more convincing for yourself, well guess what, there's a free downloadable demo available. So now it's time for the sizzle reel of deals and just as I said earlier, it is jam packed with great games.
now we're at the end of another under $5 eShop deals video. Let me know in the comments down below what games you're going to be picking up for this week. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to my channel supporters. Their monthly support is so appreciated and you can check out all their names on the end screen. And don't forget on the way out that if you did like the content, consider hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel if you aren't already and clicking on the notification bell so you know when all my future content comes out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.